Hello everyone, this is Chris with CricketUsers.com and the US Tech Channel. This video is going to be about setting up Google Voice uh, to work on your AT&T Galaxy S4. Uh, what we're going to be doing is bypassing our voicemail and using Google Voice to handle that. We'll also have use of a uh, secondary number uh, in general and be able to send and receive text on that and make outgoing calls to it and receive calls at that number. So uh, this is good for all sorts of people, people that need a second number, like let's say you have a business or you want to separate your business from your personal phone calls. Um, also if you want a custom uh, number, I have a 904 Cricket number uh, for example. Anyways, this video is more about how to set it up than to the advantages and disadvantages of using it. So let's go back to the very beginning and we'll go ahead and uninstall. Uh, Google Voice. You can see the widget that came with it right there. Uh, uninstalling a uh, an application is really easy. We just go to Settings, More, Application Manager, uh, locate it, and then uninstall it. So this will allow us to uh, set it all up again. There are a couple things I would do in preparation uh, for Google Voice. One is going into your Settings. and then go to my device call additional settings it'll read the settings from the network carrier in this case AT&T and then the uh, call forwarding I would take down this number even though it seems like the phone actually stores it now this number is not my actual phone's uh, number this is where it goes to to get the voicemail box uh, there's that number I won't show you mine if you see it really doesn't matter we really don't use this phone um, it's just uh, for videos um, yeah we pay a lot to uh, just do videos on this or I do um, let's go back now and we'll go ahead and go to the Play Store and re-download Google Voice We'll accept. We've already set up a Google Voice account. You can go to voice.google.com to set that up. And then on there you can select your phone number and a bunch of other things. Alright, let's go ahead and open up Voice. Say like, welcome to Google Voice. Google Voice can provide the voicemail service for your phone. Place it a service from your mobile carrier. There's a lot of things they can do, of course. We'll hit next. We're going to use this one, our Cricket Users account. There, of course, you have the option to add another account if uh, the ones that has your Google Voice on it isn't selected or you want to get a new number or something like that. Anyways, uh, now we need to continue the setup. Uh, we need to add this phone because it's not listed there. It says Google Voice will now verify your number by sending a text message from your phone to Google Voice service. Verifying your phone number, updating settings. We have verified your phone number. Next, I use Ask every time I make a call whether or not to use Google Voice. So if it's a business call, I can use my Google Voice number. If it's not, I'll just use my personal number. And now it says in order to configure your voicemail, we need to access your current settings. On some phones, this won't be available. On the Galaxy S4, on AT&T, it should be. Says we will now try to set up Google Voice as a voicemail provider on your phone. Hit configure. Google Voice. It'll read the current settings. And update them. Voicemail number changed. It'll go ahead and synchronize my inbox. I hit finish, and all my texts will start to download. Of course, you can always add a nice widget onto your home screen. And you can resize it appropriately.
like so. If we go into our settings, we can verify that Google Voice is our new provider for our voicemail. Google Voice. Our voicemail number will be our Google Voice number, 904 Cricket here. And if you go back into additional settings, you can see that the new call forwarding all should go to your Google Voice number. So for more information on this device and more, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You guys are the reason why I'm able to actually get these devices and do these videos. Thanks a lot.